Hi guys, I'm hoping I'm doing a surprise live again because I'm actually at home sick. I've been resting and spending most of the day in bed um, because I have been suffering from really bad migraines and it's not something I've ever really had before. So I've been asleep for a few hours now and so if I sound a bit dopey that's why because I've been um, sleeping my little head off since Sunday because I've had migraines and they're really not very nice um, it's really knocked me for six so I thought you know what I've got a minute and I'm feeling somewhat rested but the headache is still definitely there so I thought I'd pop on and share um, a quick card with you because otherwise it runs out and the week's gone before I know it and then I'm working and I don't get to craft with you so I thought while well, I've got a minute and the headache's somewhat there but okay I'll come on and craft and show you what I've been up to so if you're here pop on and say hello um I still have to draw a giveaway a giveaway draw a winner for these from my last video which I haven't had a chance to do but um I will do that after this video and post the winner so um what I've caught myself on the spot what I'll do is have another giveaway today hi Vicky how are you um, and what I'll do is give away a packet of these brightly gleaming foil accents so if you share my video and um, post that you've shared it because sometimes I don't get to see everyone that's shared it um, so if you post that you've shared it you'll go in the drawer to win these beautiful brightly gleaming foil accents I'd love to send you some with a card. Hi Wendy, how are you? So um, I'm going to try and talk as normally as I can, but my head's just a bit foggy. So <laughs> if anyone has any tips for getting rid of migraines, I'd love to know because I've taken Panadol, I've taken Nurofen, I've taken all sorts. And oh, I tell you, it's just, it's totally, totally numbing, mind numbing. So these are the two cards I had a bit of a play with because I did a... Um, catalog launch on uh, Saturday with the new holiday catalog and I just wanted to sit and have mindless crafting afterwards so I made a couple of cards I'm gonna show you something in a second but this is the card I made with the ladies on Saturday we just had a play with the puff paint and putting together a fun little thanks guys for sharing a fun little snowman used some of my favorite ribbon I don't know why I just love this um, like fluffy textile ribbon so we had a play with that one um, on Saturday but we had fun just chatting and loving on the new catalogue so that was super fun but today what I wanted to share with you is um, this fun product suite I still haven't got the gist of where everything is in the catalogue yet um, clearly I need to browse the catalogue more <laughs> I've got another order on its way I'm so excited I'll have to share it with you when you when it's here um, speaking of which I'm just thinking um, thinking out loud so this is the most wonderful time product medley and I'm totally in love with it so we had a product medley um, a little bit ago it was the everything is rosy product medley but this one's a Christmas one and our everything is rosy only lasted a month well this one lasts for three months the entire duration of the Christmas catalog or the holiday catalog should I say um, and so it's super super fun and I, do you know what I love most about this is you can buy the product medley and then you've got embellishments, you've got ribbon, you've got card fronts, you've got designer series papers, stickers, die cuts, dies and stamp set. So really you only need to buy the product medley and you can sit and craft for ages. You've got everything you need. You just need some adhesives. So um, I'm definitely going to be doing an online class with some freebies and an in-person class with this one because... I really think it's awesome that you can get one bundle, like it's only one item number, you only have to remember to order one thing and you've got everything you need. So I'm going to do a really cool class with it. But I thought I'd share um, what I've done so far. I've had a bit of a play and I wanted to share the products up close. Hi Angela, how are you? I need to ask you some doTERRA questions, don't let me forget. Um, so I'll, I have pulled apart some of these products so they're in little bits and pieces and um, but I will show you so these are some of the bits and pieces so I've cut, as you can see I've cut into my paper because you've got to love it chop it um, but there's some gorgeous papers so what I might do is not show you the little half sheets that I've got going on there um, Angela I still got that migraine headache I need like oils to the rescue um, so 
one side is not um, the specialty, but one side is just plain. But the other side is foiled. How gorgeous is that? Thanks for sharing. Hi, Angie. Um, and then you get lots of different patterns. And you get quite a few sheets of each. So there's definitely... Um, I think you might get eight sheets of each, to be honest. I probably shouldn't. Or maybe it's... One, five, six. Maybe it's six. But um, there's another pattern. And the gorgeous foiling with the berries on the back. Thanks for sharing. So I'm just in my dopey. I've got a headache. Oh, do you know what, Angela? I lent my past tense to Morgan because she had migraines the other week. So I need to go do a call around to mum and dad's, I think. Um, so aren't these papers just stunning? Like, honestly, I've used that one too. And, oh, so pretty. And this is one of the ones that I used on one of the cards. This is the stripe. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it, Wendy? Like, this is one of the things where I love live videos because it can look a lot different in person to what it can in the catalogue. And these foiled papers just are really hard to capture just how amazing they are. Love the candy canes. And look at these trees, the gold foiling. I'm trying to hope that I get the gold foiling on the camera. Now, I think I've showed you... Have I showed, yeah, I've showed you those ones. So, yeah, I think there's eight of each, actually, because what I've done is I've pulled two of each because I had a display with all my papers on, on the weekend. So you get eight six-by-six six sheets of each. So that's the DSP that you get, but you also get some card fronts. Now, keep in mind... Hi, Mel. Long time no see. How are you going? Um, you get card fronts. These are the american size card fronts, though. So I have used them on the two cards that I'm showing today, but I'm only going to make one with you. I've just cut it down a little bit so um because i think they're wider but shorter um but you get i think well i haven't used this one so i you get four of each pattern it looks like because i've used one of that one and two of this one so you get three different designs four of each pattern and they're also gold foiled so they're the card fronts that you can use you could ink those up sponge them do all kinds of techniques because it will the foil will resist um the sponging so it'll be very very pretty peppermint lavender and easy air and eucalyptus i think i'm gonna have to go to mum's because i don't have any easy air i don't think hi julie i did but i think i lent it to mum see look, what is with me and lending oils um so these why am i doing that it's not even foiled um so these are the stickers now the cool thing about these stickers is that you don't have to use them as stickers because i haven't and um you will see what i do with mine but i actually take the sticky off them um because i like to raise them up so you don't have to by any means you can use them as stickers there's some cute um holly berries some stars you got lots of candy canes some great banners that you can use for sentiments or all kinds of things You've got some trees in different sizes and some really cute deer. I love them because they look watercolored. And look, you get a whole sheet of those. How pretty are they? Some more of those holly berries and some stars and another sheet of deers and some more candy canes and banners. So I think you get two of each sheet in there. So lots of those. You also get in this bundle um, a roll of this awesome, it looks like tinsel, so I'll just like roll some out so you can properly see. But it looks like tinsel. And we are going to use that today as well. So you'll see what I've done with that. And you also get a sheet of these gorgeous stars. Gold stars which you could use as a star on top of the tree. You could use as embellishments or all kinds of things. And you get obviously the stamp set. A really, really beautiful stamp set with lots of different um, bits and pieces. And a two-step present. So you stamp the presents and then you stamp the bow on top. And I have actually stamped some, so I'll show you in a second. And then the dies that match. Now, I've put mine on my magnet sheet like I enjoy doing. Um, I have got an email so now. I haven't had a chance to reply to it. Someone wanted to know where I, how I store my dies. Um, the pockets, I think, are five by seven pockets. They're from to Totally Tiffany, I think, I want to say. And then um, this is thanks to Linda Gator. And the five by seven... Um, cardboard backing is from eBay just to sh put in there to stop the dies sticking together when you put them all otherwise there'd be lots of magnets and the magnets are just A4 magnet sheets off eBay which I've cut down and then I've used my I think it's brother brother um, labeler to label and I put the number of dies in the packet as well um, 
then here's some bits I've stamped out so you can see what they look like. I've got fake nails on still, so I'm going to complain about not being able to pick things up. No. Um, so this is like the little label that you can cut out. I haven't poked all the little bits out, but there's a little label there you can use to um, put your sentiment on. There's some trees there. Now, I think I did put aside some trees which we're going to use today because I've got them already stamped and ready to go. So they're all cut out, but the little presents, if you can see, this is them when they're two-step stamped. There is another one somewhere. No, that's not it. Maybe that one. Um, so they come out and you can put like black. You could do any color. You could even do gold. It would be really pretty gold embossed. And they even, the, some of the little dies cut out these beautiful like tree toppers. There's a little angel. And there's also a little um, star, which we will use today actually. So I'll put that star up there. So there's lots of different bits and pieces. Um, and it's just so gorgeous. And another thing we're going to use today that I do want to mention is these black Stampin' Dimensionals. And I will rave on about these, but um, they are amazing. Um, I used them in my last video. As you can see, I've been hoeing into them. Um, but I'm actually giving a packet of these free for every order over 50 that uses the host code, which is in the video description. Um, and they're worth $10.50 because you get four sheets, two of the mini and two of the standard. So that's my little customer giveaway this month and they're very very handy I have been loving them so that's the medley I've got all my stamps in front of me mounted I've been using them like crazy we are also going to use this um, scalloped edge ribbon which is kind of from the Halloween collection but I'm really loving it um, it's so so pretty we're going to use that as well today so that's also from the holiday catalog and we just got a total cloud cover come across so it's probably gone really dark and I've got my light on but anyway um, hi Alison hello um, so I'm going to make this card and I've got all the pieces cut I'm just gonna pop all that to the side so I'm not making a total mess um, what we're going to do first is the stamping and what I thought I would do is, I'm, I actually don't need to stamp because I've already done it, um, but I will show you how I've done it. So I'm just going to get a scrap of white. Now what I did to get my tree to look like this is I've actually kind of watercolored it. So um, you need to mount your tree. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit off today, Alison. I've had a headache for a migraine headache for like a few days and it's just not going away. So I'm going to use my old olive and I'm going to stamp my tree in old olive. Stamp that. And then what I want to do is I've already got some ink pulled in my case. Um, if not, you can just push your ink pad and you can actually ink up an acrylic block and use that as a bit of a, um, a palette. So I need to grab an aqua painter and I've just got my iPad to see your comments in the way. So, <laughs> Hi Sherry, how are you? Oh, this is my dodgy aqua painter. I don't want that one. Um, that's the one I've kind of mistreated and it's now gone to, it's now being used for metallic inks. Okay, so now I've got an aqua painter. Now what I'm going to do is kind of watercolor this tree. But what happens when you watercolor it is you will lose the, the definition of those lines, only a little bit, but um, you'll be able to tell it's not going to be as fab and not quite how you want it. So th that is where the second step came in play and I thought I should probably actually show you what I mean. So hence stamping this with you live, even though I've already done one. Um, so I'm just gonna add color over the whole tree. Now you don't have to be too fancy with this. You don't have to be like, perfect or anything just splash some color on get color all over the tree now of course i don't have my heat gun plugged in because you know why would i do that <laughs> um i had the heat gun out for the weekend allison was actually here so i haven't actually put it away because i ended up with this headache pretty much straight after and ah oh, it's just how dare it interfere with my week anyway so normally i would heat gun that so you can see it dry but you know who has time for that 
So that's my old olive on and I've watercolored it. Now, as you can see, if you look at that, you've lost all the lines. Where's the actual tree? Where's it gone? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, you've lost all your lines in the middle where the water, water's gone over the top. To avoid that, if you wanted to, you could stamp it in like a stazon. Because the stay, if, if you don't know what I mean, stays on to our um, solvent ink. That would resist that. But I wanted the green edging around the tree. I didn't want black. So I've stamped it in the old olive. Now to get the tree now, I don't know because this is still a little bit wet. But I'm just going to show you anyway. Um, I would stamp the tree again over the top. But I'm actually going for a darker colour. So I'm using our mossy meadow. Then because they're photopolymer. I hope my head's not going to be in the way because I totally haven't even done my hair. Let's just face it. Um, line it up and then stamp it over the top. Now, normally this is not completely dry, so I would definitely recommend this drying. But then you get the definition back, but you've got a watercolored tree. So that's definitely, it's not looking great because it's still not dry. Normally I would add a bit more definition in, but that's how I did that. And I really wanted you to see that so you didn't think, what is she doing? And then when you go try it at home, you're like, what? Um, so then I've also stamped a few of these um, trees as well. And I've die cut them. So that's just these plain, um, I'm not sure what you call them, like conifers or something. I'm not sure um, if anyone from America is watching, they might have a different name. But um, that's what I would call them, or Christmas pine trees, I'm not sure. Um, so I've stamped three of those. And I've done those in Old Olive and Mossy Meadow and just stamped off a few times. So I've got different variations of colour. So I've stamped those, die cut those. Oh, we don't need the angel. Um, I'm definitely a star on top of the tree. Do you do stars or angels? I'd love to know. Because I know some people are very different. Some people like stars, some people like angels. But I'm definitely a star person. Um, so I've got all those bits done and dusted. So now we can put our aqua painter away before we start watercoloring everything. Now, the card base I've got today is crumb cake. I've got a new love obsession with crumb cake and I don't know where it's come from. I've always loved it, but it's definitely um, on my love list at the moment. So you're a star person. See, I can't do the angel. I've never had an angel on the tree, so I'm not sure. It might just be because I haven't ever done it. Um, so I've got this. So I'm doing a top folding card. So to achieve a top folding card, you just get a piece of A4 and literally cut it in half. So it's cut at 10.5 centimetres or four and a quarter, I think it is, and then fold it in half. And that gives you a top folding card. Now to get our background like we have, all I have done is I've stuck down the card front, which I've cut to four inches wide. So um, sorry if you're not an inches person, but because I was... A scrapbooker before I was a card maker I'm very much an inches person even though we use metric system here in um, Australia I'm just big, very much an inches girl and so I do apologize if that's a bit confusing um, so I'm just going to adhere that so that I've got an even edging and don't worry about this bottom bit because we're actually going to cover that we're going to add some of our designer series paper from the medley this is the one with the cute deer on the back. But what we want to do before we adhere that down is actually stick a strip of tear and tape across one edge, one long edge, I should say. So we're just going to do that. Oh, I need my take your pick tool. Oh, really, Angie? So I'm not the only one. Good. I wasn't sure. Like, I was like, people probably think I'm weird for doing... Um, inches but I just I don't know it's just more my thing so I just put the tear and tape across one side now the reason I'm going to do that is because I want to I want to use some of our um, basic black scalloped ribbon so I'm just going to sort of even that out with my finger and getting the the side that has the sticky I'm going to line it up as even as I can and then that helps adhere that so then I want to go back in with my scissors and just trim this down I find that it didn't really fray so it was all good now I say that it probably will no I shouldn't say that don't jinx yourself Kayla um, so now I've got my ribbon on there and now what I want to do is just bring my card back apply some more adhesive and then I can line this up with the bottom so we get an even 
look and then line up with our card front that we've already put down and that's our card base pretty much done now what I can do I've got to remind myself of what I did on the inside I've cut a piece of black and a piece of white to put on the inside now the piece of black is cut at, I'm testing my memory here is cut at four by five and three quarters and the bit that goes in there is cut a one eighth of an inch smaller so um, it allows us to get a nice even border and that's for the inside of the card so I really like to have if I go to heaps of effort in decorating the outside of a card I really like to decorate the inside I don't know it's just a personal choice I suppose so I'm just going to I like to sort of adhere these pieces and not leave them laying on the desk so the, hence doing the inside of the card right now <laughs> otherwise I will lose it there we go so that's stamped and ready to decorate in a second now what we're going to take is a um, circle in black and also a glimmer circle in the gold now um, I have cut those already but I will show you I used the layering circles now I've used the largest scallop circle for our gold glimmer and then for the black I've used the largest stitch circle from our stitch shapes so that's how I've achieved that now um, with when you're adhering to our glimmer the best thing I could recommend is glue dots because the glue just does not want to adhere so I just press my circle down into the glue dots and apply a few so four or five would do it I reckon and then just give that a good press and adhere that down now what I want to do is grab some of my stickers out so grab some of these now I think I've gone with one with one of the larger ones I'll get a medium one and one of these large ones and a small one so I've got three different sizes here so if they're all my stickers now I want to actually lay them upside down and grab a stick into me we want me to do this one at a time so grab your embossing buddy which is available in the shop or in the catalog and just tap over the sticker this will remove that sticky and sort of turn it into a bit of a die cut and I find this a lot easier um, especially if you're not 100% um, sure where you're going to stick it or if you want to perhaps raise it up on 3D dots um, oh could you cut the gold again in another circle two sizes yes you could I'm just being lazy Jody. <laughs> ignore me <laughs> you definitely could so what Jodie's asking is if you could cut because there's a lot of gold glimmer behind there that's not being used behind here you could get a circle punch in there you could get a die and cut it out so you only have a frame of a circle to save that um i was just quickly literally this video was a two minute decision before i came live so um now i've got those all de-stickied because i'm sure that's a word i'm just going to place them roughly where i want them you can rub if the powder gets on them you just use your finger and rub it off a little bit so i just want to sort of move those where i want them a little bit and once I'm happy with their placement, what I actually do is grab my, um, that's very, that's very true, Jodie, good, very good tip. So what she's saying is it might help with the adhesive because you could hear it and hear it to the background. Um, so I'm just going to keep those in place with a glue dot, um, which I'll lift them just so I don't have to then remember exactly where I have them. And then once we've stuck everything, we can go back and add some more adhesive anyway. Oh, that glue dot doesn't want to stick. There we go. So they're in place. Now what we want to do is stick our circle up with some foam adhesive. Now I'm going to use my black foam dots. Hi Kylie, how are you? Um, I'm at home sick today because <laughs> I've got a nasty migraine that won't go away and I've just been asleep for hours and I thought I need to pop on and share this with you guys because tomorrow I've got my son after school and getting videos done with a five-year-old home is just really challenging um he often likes to be very noisy and wants to join in so which is cute but yeah I thought you guys might want to have a live where you can actually hear me so I'm just going to stick that down so I can still see my cute little berries. 
Now, what we want to do is grab, I'm just going to get rid of my dimensional backings because they're going to annoy me. Um, now we want to grab our trees. We can start sort of sticking things down somewhat. So I don't want to stick this big tree down yet though, because I will show you in a second why. We just sort of want to layer them. So I'm going to have two to this side, one to that side. If you can see, it'll look like a sort of a, um, what do you call a group of trees? A forest? I don't know. Um, so once you've got those where you want them, I'm very big on not moving things when I glue them. I just lift them up and add glue underneath. This is scrapbooker in me. I used to always do this when I was scrapbooking. I used to sort of be too scared. You'd lay a whole layout down and then you just realize that you need to stick it all down and it was a nightmare. So I sort of apply the same method when I'm card making and I try and not um, move everything. So there where I want the trees. Now we want to go back and add some prettiness to our tree. So what we're going to do is grab our tinsel trim, which I showed you earlier, this gorgeous stuff, and we're going to add tinsel to our tree. Now, I don't know, there might be different ways of doing this, but what I've done is I've started at the top, grabbing the tinsel trim, and then I've just added a small bit of tear and tape to hold that in place, because we don't want the start of it to move. Now, all I've done is gone around the tree, literally wrapping it, around and it's kind of got enough edges on it with the branches that it will hold the tinsel trim in place. So when you get to the bottom, when you've added your tinsel trim, you just cut and then add some more tear and tape to the bottom to hold that end in place. Now we want to adhere our tree and we're going to do that on foam dots as well. So we'll get bring back our foam dots. It's really good. It is, Jody, and the reason why you probably missed it is because you can't buy it by itself. You've got to buy it as part of the medley. So it's part of the most wonderful time medley. Angela, if you're still here, I've got this blend on today right next to me in my Lumo diffuser. It's, what is it? Cassia, Motivate, and oh, there's one up, Cheer maybe? It's actually a really nice blend. I can smell the Cassia. It's, it smells like something, and I just... I can't think of what it is. It smells so good. It's right beside me. I probably should have like a headache blend on, but I needed a motivate blend <laughs> um, to get some stuff done. I need to motivate myself to rest, really. Um, so I'm just going to adhere. I've got my black dimensionals on the back of my tree, and I just want to adhere that down. And then I want to put the star on top of my tree, but I'm going to use one of the mini black dimensionals because I want that to also... Um, stick this, oh, to my tree but I don't want it to be at a different height to the tree so I'm just going to stick the dimensional to the top of the star and the reason I'm doing that is because the bottom of the star will lay over the tree so you want that to go like that now um oh really now I'm, now I'm sniffing while I'm live to see if I can smell Jaffa it does a little bit I think that ca the cassia, though, in you know, it is really overpowering the anything else. But it's I, I've never really used cassia and I've had it for ages. So I'm really liking it. I'm just applying a glue dot to the bottom to hold that down. Now, what I did forget to do is stick my little, um, this one in. But I can actually poke it kind of behind the tree. So I'll poke that in now. It's not unusual for me to forget to put things in place. Alrighty, alrighty, now I probably want to add another glue dot here because that's quite a large die there, so I don't want it to move on me. So I'm just going to stick that. Now we want to go and add our sentiments. So I, I've added a sentiment. Hi, Christy, how are you? Um, I've want, I can't talk. Um, so I've used the stickers to add my sentiment, and I've put Oh Christmas Tree because of the Christmas tree. Um, I love Whisper. It's one of my favourites. Um, now, I did use Memento, but I found it bled a little bit on these, this particular, um, I was going to say fabric, but um, media, I suppose is what you say. So I'm going to try stays on. So I'm just going to ink up my stamp on stays on and then stamp it straight on one of these stickers. So 
twice and even pressure. Yes, definitely stays on. So there you go. There's a tip. I would definitely recommend stays on with these stickers, dies or whatever, because um, it gives you a, a nicer. It's sort of very hard to tell, but it's there's just the tiniest bit of bleed happening there. So now I'm going to peel my sticker off and do the same thing I did with my dies. And I'm just going to take the sticky off the top. Now, once you're happy that the sticky is gone, what you want to do is apply um, dimensionals to one side. Maybe I put the big ones on there. Um, I haven't really tried Clary Sage, Angela. I've heard lots of people say good things about it though. So once you've got the dimensional there, you can actually sort of place it down even. And then once I placed it down, I knew where I needed the other dimensional. So I've just peeled the backing off one. You can use your take a pick tool if you wish and stick it on there and just peel that up and stick it under. Then you want some um, glue dots to stick your banner down to your tree because the tinsel kind of is stopping it sticking. So I'd just get a couple of glue dots and stick that down. So that's the that bit and then I'm going to go in and add the stars so I've added three and I'm going to add I sort of like to do like a triangle pattern so I'm going to add one above the banner one below and then to create my triangle I'm going to go over here and it's kind of a pleasing thing to the eye and that's why I do that then I'm going to take my wink of Stella which I love give that a shake Um, and then I'm going to colour my berries to give them a bit of a glittery shine just because I think that's a bit cute. So I'm going to colour my berries and then I'm going to go in and sort of wax some glitter, <laughs> wax some glitter over the top. Doesn't that sound beautiful? Um, and that will, you can't really tell in the video, but that gives um, it some more shine. So that's the front of the card done. But then on the inside, I've actually also just added some simple embellishment and that is... Um, have a wonderful Christmas so a bit of a cute sentiment on the inside have a wonderful Christmas and then I've taken my real red ink and then one of the stamps has a cute little star and it's like just these group of stars and I've just stamped that above the sentiment like that so I just kept the inside really, really simple. Um, and yeah, that's what achieved that card. So it was really, really simple and it was just fun to do after I had a Stampin' Up! event just to chill out and relax. And everything was right there in front of me. I didn't have to think about coordinating products because I bought the medley. And so I had the dies, I had the stamps, the papers, the ribbon, the embellishments, everything there, the card fronts. So you can buy that medley and know that you've got all the coordinating products. You can just sit down and literally have fun. You don't have to worry about matching things up. I can't wait to make a card with these cute fellas. That's going to be so, so cute. So yeah, and then I quickly made this one with some leftovers. So um, they're my first cards that I've done with the Most Wonderful Time medley. And I hope you enjoyed it because I haven't seen a lot online with this medley yet. So I'm hoping people share, share, share a lot more so I can see. Um, I just received this in the mail. So I'm so excited. I'm going to go make a coffee and sit down and enjoy my stamp and success. So this is a magazine for demonstrators. And no, Angela, the tinsel only comes in the medley. Um, so this one comes for demonstrators. Even if you're just a hobby demo enjoying the discount, you still get the magazine and it's full of ideas. And... There is some really cute ideas in here, like really cute. So lots of cool stuff. So if you're demo, I hope you get that very soon. Don't forget to share my video and I'm going to draw a winner for these brightly gleaming foil accents. Really, really pretty. And I'll draw a winner for last week's or earlier this week, whenever that was. I've lost track of days. Um, Okie dokie. So cool stuff. Thanks for watching, guys, for my quick little video in my headache mode. <laughs> that probably doesn't make sense. Um, and I will catch you guys later. Thanks so much for watching and have a lovely, lovely week. Bye, guys.